All on board for our daily encounter. Hello, World Changer. These are your captains speaking. We are here at Mercy Command to ensure that you are readying your spaceship as we encounter God today. That's right, World Changer. God wants to reveal a mystery to you today. Prepare for launch. This encounter is going to be wild. It's going to be out of this world. We are going to explore various lands and meet new friends as they encounter God with us, as we seek his heart and learn his ways. Ready, Captain? Ready. Ready, World Changer? Prepare for launch. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we welcome you here. We ask for you to teach us your ways that we would know you and find your favor. Amen. Amen. World Changer, get ready for takeoff. Five, I am a child of God, full of His Holy Spirit. Four, I am learning His ways. Three, I am made to encounter Him daily and know Him more. Two, I am walking in His favor and carry His presence wherever I go. One, I am a World Changer. Welcome, world changers, to Encounter Mountain. I am your guide, and before we begin our grand adventure, I'd like to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to join us. So everybody, bow your heads. Holy Spirit, we just thank you for your presence today. We thank you that we get to encounter you daily and know you more. We ask that you reveal to us today how much you loved us, to give your one and only Son to die for us. And we thank you for this today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, ready to go find our helper? Let's go! Uh, hey, God! Hey, Juby. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Oh, just a rabbit's favorite game. And oh. what is that? Hopscotch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, you're so Ooh. funny. <laughs> well, happy Easter, Juby. And happy Easter, world changer. What a beautiful day to celebrate all that God has done for us. <gasps> the chime! The chime! <laughs> A clue! Ooh. Ooh, I what wonder is... what kind of clue we're getting today. Oh, uh, yeah. It says, Jesus gave me. Well, I can make a whole list of things that Jesus gave me. Yeah. Wonder what this mystery is. Well, me too. But before we start making a list, let's posture our hearts and welcome Holy Spirit into this place and thank Him. Holy Spirit, we just give you this day. We give you this place. We give you our hearts. And we just thank you for all that you have for us today. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now that we have thanked him, let's go ahead and begin to worship him. Yes. Hey, World Changer. Um, I have my friend Charlie, my friend Malachi here. We're getting ready to worship. You can wave at your friends. <laughs> All right, World Changer, we're going to lift up song about being sons and daughters of the Lord. So we just say, Holy Spirit, we belong to you. We're no longer slaves to fear, but we're children of the living God. So I'm no longer...
child of God. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm ready to start making a list of things Jesus gave me. Mm -hmm. I've got my crayons and my paper. Well, you really are prepared. I have a question. Sure. How can I help? Well, isn't every day a beautiful day to celebrate all that Jesus has gone done for us? Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have to wait until Easter, right? Well, that's a good question, Juby. We definitely should give thanks every day for everything God has done for us. In fact, it should be a part of our daily personal encounters. We can say, thank you, every day. The Chime! The Chime! Oh, 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 oh. What's it say? It says, everlasting. Oh, what a great word. That is a great word. Jesus gave me everlasting well cereal? Well, uh, we'll find out soon. World changer, can you guess what the last clue might say? While we try to figure it out, let's go to our Bible story to learn about Easter and the resurrection of Jesus. Part 4. Jesus Gives Me Everlasting Life Matthew 28 On the third day since Jesus had died, a great earthquake came. An angel of the Lord came down and rolled the stone away, and then he sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and fell. Some disciples, including Mary Magdalene, came to see the tomb. And seeing the tomb open, the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen as he said he would. Come, see the place where he lay. And as they looked inside, they saw that the tomb was empty. The angel told them, Go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you, and there you will see him. Now eleven of the disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had directed them, and they saw Jesus waiting there. And Jesus said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you. Know this, I am with you always to the end of the age. Matthew chapter 28. Well, hello there, world changer, or should I say, mountain mover. I'm Cocos. I'm stationed on these seven mountains, and I have climbed these seven mountains more times than a reindeer has eaten candy canes. And do you know how many peaks are on these seven mountains? Seven. That's right, there are seven peaks on seven mountains. The first is Family Mountain. There is Education Mountain. There is Government Mountain. Media Mountain. Arts and Entertainment Mountain. Business Mountain and Religion Mountain. These mountains represent areas of society back on planet Earth, and you get to teach God's ways to these mountains. Now let's talk about one of them. This is where ministry and church reside. Religion Mountain. Religion Mountain 
is where religion was made by man, but meant to partner with God's kingdom. The purpose was for God's sons and daughters to have a place to meet and encounter him. When we encounter him, we hear him. And when we hear him, we are able to say what he speaks, which is prophecy. And prophecy was meant to be shouted from religion mountain to all other mountains. There is no mountain too high for you to climb, no mountain too big for you to move. You are a mountain shaker. You are a mountain mover. Can you tell me some of the great things that Jesus gave you? Sure. My ears, my voice, and the Holy Spirit. I could go yeah. on and on mm. and on. The, the chime! chime! Ooh, oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, good job, good job. Oh, ah. Okay, okay. What does it say? Oh, it says life. Life? <gasps> Jesus, Jesus gave me. Me? Everlasting life! Wow! Oh, here it is. Uh, Jesus gave me, uh, turn that around, everlasting life! Here we go. Jesus gave me everlasting life. 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 Now I know what lie is, but what is everlasting? Everlasting means never ending. It means Jesus gave us life that allows us to live forever. World changer, Jesus gave you everlasting life. Now let's see how other world changers on earth are doing as Jesus gave them everlasting life. John 3.16 says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. changer or should I say leader welcome to leader valley I am Najid but you can call me leader for I am a leader and so are you now here at leader valley we house those who want to grow as a leader for being a leader is a constant journey you always are growing and you never stop learning now I'm working on a combination it might not always feel the best to do because I might not always feel like doing it, but it is necessary to be a great leader. It's called celebration. In celebration, we choose to celebrate the little things that create a big victory. Would you like to see the combination? Excellent. Allow me to demonstrate. Put it on. The board. Ah, what's the board? Imagine an invisible board where you keep track of points that don't even matter. What you're doing is when you see someone do something that's worth celebrating, you celebrate them by saying, put it on the board. Or, put it on the board. Do it with me. Put it on the board. Leaders, remember, always celebrate by putting it on the board. Hmm. 
I got birds. I got a cloud. I got the sun. She has some party blue hair. But oh, this one needs some blue hair too. Let's add some curls there. Oh, oh, well, pardon me, world changers. Howdy. I am so glad you all are here at Creative Crater with me today because here at Creative Crater, we know that we serve a creator who creates all good things. Now we know that there are so many different ways for us to be creative. You know, I kind of demonstrated one right here. Ain't it lovely? But there are other ways too. We can beatbox, boots, cats, boots, cats, boots, cats. You can recite some poetry. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? You can even hula hoop. Unfortunately, I don't got one right now, but you know who might? Our friends back on earth. So I think we should go check out and see what some of their favorite creative expressions are. Let's go. Hello, World Changer. This is your captain speaking. You have discovered the mystery that Jesus gives you everlasting life. Nothing or no one else can give you life. Jesus is the only one who gives life. The life Jesus gives us heals us, delivers us, and frees us. Now stretch out your hands like so and close your eyes and repeat after me. Jesus, thank you for giving me everlasting life. I welcome your life here. I declare your life on my spirit. I declare your life on my mind. I declare your life on my body. I declare your life on my home. I declare your life on my country. Amen. Now, world changer, your mission is two parts. The first part is say every day, I have everlasting life in Jesus. And part two, ask one person a day if they want everlasting life. And if they say yes, tell them about Jesus and lead them to receive Jesus. Now, world change. Remember, Jesus gives you everlasting life and you are a world changer. World changer, get ready for takeoff. Five, I am a child of God, full of his Holy Spirit. Four, I am learning his ways. Three, I am made to encounter him daily and know him more. Two, I am walking in his favor and carry his presence wherever I go. One, I am a world teacher. teacher. 